What's up, it's Afro DJ Mac, and I want to show you how to turn your compressor into a de in Ableton Live. So we're going to open up our compressor and click the triangle box, which reveals the sidechain and the EQ. We're going to click on the EQ, and we're going to set it to bandpass filter. And what this means is that the compressor will only work when frequencies within this range reach this threshold. So I'm going to play this really annoying uh, sample that I made with an S sound. So what's the story? Hear that S so sound is really loud story? and irritating. So what's the story? So, so if you look at this frequency the thing here, it's peaking right around five or so. So I'm going to move this thing to here all the way up to f a little about right about there. We'll say for now. And now the signal will only be compressed when those frequencies are loudest. So let's listen. So what's the story? I'm gonna really drop so the what's threshold. The story. So what's the story? And increase so that to the crazy the story. The so S's what's are much softer now. Listen. So what's the story? So what's and I'll take the it off. Story. So what's the story? So what's the story? So what's the story? Back on. So what's now, the obviously that's an extreme example, but you can hear that I'm cutting down those sounds which are really annoying you can use the same principle to add uh, side chain compression on like say the kick drum of this track on this track so what I've done is I just set the side chain on and now it's listening to my 8-bit drums here and I got it set to EQ and the only thing I'm listening for is these really low beats so let me just play that for you so there's all these hi-hat sounds, but they're not reaching above the threshold, and that's what I want. So now when I play my little chimes part, it'll get compressed. So my compression is only happening while those notes are being hit. If I turn this off, you'll hear the difference. No compression. Now side chain. Only when the kick drum hits. So this is a really handy thing you can play around with, this EQ parameter inside your compressor. It tells you when the compressor will strike and that's when whatever EQ range you specify reaches that certain threshold. Enjoy.